My name is Brendan Keegan, and I'm CEO of Merchants Fleet, and I'm looking forward today to talking to you about the tough times we face and a playbook that will help you through those tough times. Today, as we sit here in the midst of a global pandemic, I'm here to talk to you about leading through challenging times. Now, over the years as a CEO, I've had the opportunity to lead companies through five different crises. Each one of those has been unique in their own right, but over the course of my career, I've really had the opportunity to build a playbook with some plays in it that really transcend any interaction that you're having during a crisis. And I call these the Tough Times Playbook, and I'd like to start with Play One. Play One is don't hide from it and be transparent. And there's three steps to that. One, know what you know. Make sure everyone across your company knows whatever is going on with the crisis. The second is know what you don't know. It's okay to say we don't know the answers to how long this is going to last or what the long-term or short-term impacts are going to be. And the third is be okay with not knowing what you don't know. Now, this particular tough time that we're faced with right now in 2020 is very unique because we don't know so much about it as it's going across the globe. We know that we are in shelters now, but we don't know when we're coming out of shelter. Different states are handling it differently. You have employees in different states. And it's okay to say, we will figure out how it works across all of those. But those are some of the keys in being transparent with your employees, being transparent with your clients, being transparent with your colleagues. Now, part of that is also instilling confidence in them. So it's not just saying, I don't know, and being cavalier about it. It's being pragmatic about it. And one term that I use with my company often is positive pragmatism. What do I mean by that? Have a positive outlook that you're going to get through this, that you're going to find the silver lining, that you're going to find new market opportunities, that if you dig in, you have the chance to come out of this stronger as a company. But it all starts with one thing, not hiding from it, leaning in as a leader, and being transparent with your employees so that they can be part of the solution, not uh, constraint. 